Hello! Welcome to the beautiful city of St. John. Actually, so far we find it a little gritty. So we are in St. John, New Brunswick, not to be confused with St. John, the province of Canada. So this is S-A-I-N-T, John. The other one is S-T, period, John. So there's a difference. So there you go. Nice job. Ketchup <laughs> and crackers over there. You're disgusting. <laughs> You're disgusting. Hey, do you know the name of where we are? We're in St. John, and this is the yeah. area known as Reversing Falls. So the river and the tide collide tonight at around 7:26 p.m. And so it should create this. The tide comes up, the river's still trying to go this way, and it creates big spikes. And uh, right down there is the a little bit of a, a little That's bit of the a river going into the bay. A little wave over there. Uh -huh. It's an interesting area because it has this fancy restaurant. I guess well, not fancy, but there's a restaurant here, and then there's all this highway and industry, and it's kind of weird. So the technical term for what's going on here in St. John is gritty. <laughs> All right, which is not necessarily a bad thing. You can definitely tell the wharf area is gentrifying. Like there's new bars, as as new know. breweries, new different things going on. But you can definitely tell it's falling on a little bit of hard times. Um, we went over to the city market, which was lovely. I would highly recommend it. Um, but milling around that area seemed to be a bunch of unemployed people and then on the way back from visiting a local church there was definitely signs of meth heads so not a, a horrible thing per se but even Carl would have to say it was a little bit gritty so. the word
in them? No, it's a rose. Hopefully get a window seat in the Oh, poor Beaver's got an injury. What's the saying from the movie? Nice Beaver. So when you hear of Canada and beer, most people go, what, Molson and Moosehead. So, George B. Oland, when George Bald Oland was growing up in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, he was surrounded by his brothers and sisters and many Oland cousins. Their homes were together by the Halifax Harbor near the Oland family brewery. The popular brown ales recipe had come from England with grandmother Susanna Olin in 1865. Most of her sons and later her grandsons worked at the developing Nova Scotia Brewery. At first, George was more interested in the military than the brewery. At 16, he left Halifax to fight in the South African Boer War. When the call came for World War I, George received a major's commission. He was overseas on December 6, 1917, when two military ships, one loaded with explosives, collided in Halifax Harbor. Now, oh, yeah. thinking about that, so a lot of Halifax was destroyed there. Carl and I went through a church that literally still has a piece of shrapnel, like this big piece of metal that's going through the wall, uh, which was pretty weird. With Halifax destroyed, the brewery could not be rebuilt quickly in 1918 using uh, explosion compensation funds. The Owens purchased Simon Jones's Red Ball Brewery in St. John, New Brunswick. At the corner of uh, Carm Carmethan and Union Streets, the brewery faced spectacular, the brewery faced spectacular Red Ball sunsets on the west. Returned soldier, George, became the manager of the renamed Olin's Red Ball Brewery. In 1918, prohibition laws limited Canadian beer sales. Only soft drinks and near beer with no more than 2% alcohol could be sold in the Maritimes. Even with those restrictions, Olin's Red Ball Brewery prospered under George's guidance. That later became Moosehead. Okay. So, kind of a fun little intertwined Halifax, Nova Scotia to here um, and the fact that Carl and I went right through that church with the mm. shrapnel because it really did destroy a lot of the city. Yep. And I drank Moosehead a little bit in college because it was a cheap beer too. But, for the record, we've not had Moosehead in Canada or Molson um, and we've been struggling to find good local IPAs. So to say that we want to hit some Triple Cross Brewing or Stone Brewing when we hit Richmond is an understatement. GoPro stop recording.